Hi Pisces, welcome to your general love reading for the second half of March 2022. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Pisces. And it is a general reading, so it's not going to be everybody's situation. That would just be crazy. Um, but of course, you can check out one of your other signs or you can book a personal reading with me. And you can find all that information in the description box. Also, the roles can be reversed because this reading is general. All right, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see, what is going on for you, second half of March? All right, starting off the reading, we have the Three of Cups crossed by the Page of Cups. All right. Um, there's there's a desire for reconciliation here and it could be that some of you have actually come back together with somebody um, from your past but I feel like there's this there's like an issue in communication about emotions like I feel like maybe there's um, somebody either you or them or maybe the both of you that's just not opening up a hundred percent emotionally let's see um, and for some of you, it could be that, you know, there's just this desire for this reconciliation, but again, just not really opening up to express how you or they feel about, about this coming back together. So for your energy, we have the Two of Wands, the Six of Swords, and the Hanged Man. Yeah, it does feel like there's... Um, there's not much movement here. It feels more like, okay, you know what? Like maybe this is something that can happen in the future, but I'm not going to take any action towards it. If anything, I'm just trying to keep my peace, trying to avoid anything that's going to disrupt my peace, trying to move away from conflict, and just kind of thinking about it, but not taking much action towards it. Let's see for them. We have the Knight of Cups, the Fool, and the Hierophant. Okay, well, wow, this person really wants to come in. <laughs> this person, I feel, is actually doing the opposite of you and taking some action. It might even be a little bit impulsive. Let's see the outcome. <coughs> or excuse me, the um, potential outcome here is judgment. Okay, so possibly a decision, an awakening, um, a resurrection of some sort. So I actually do feel like, you know, there's going to be something here. Something big that's happening. Even though I don't know, I don't really see you being so sure about it. <coughs> Let's see. I, I see it more as you kind of being like, all right, you know what? Let me think about this. But let's see. Let's clarify. Let's see this three of cups with the page of cups. The fool, the ten of wands, and the five of wands. Yeah, it's like it feels risky. There's this essence of riskiness attached to this either making up or, or coming together. And so for that reason, I feel like there's this withholding of communication or of, of emotions. I would even say that there has been a lot that has happened in the past which created conflict and this is something that you're wanting to avoid. You're wanting to um, not just not get involved with that because it just always feels so heavy and never ending. Hmm. Let's see the two of wands. We have justice. Okay, so that's Libra energy and the devil, Capricorn. Again, let's not forget that the roles can be reversed. Um, and I know that there are a lot of people who also cross-watch, and I feel like, especially for Pisces, for some reason, in my readings. Um,
you're, yeah, there's a fear here. There's a fear on your end, possibly of, I don't, I don't know, I don't know exactly what this fear is. I, I feel like it's, um, this, a fear of disrupting the peace that you are seeking. And so you're you're thinking about what is right for you, and I feel like you're still you're still trying to figure that out. What is it that that you want? What is the right decision here? How can you stay balanced? Um, so yeah, I mean, the devil is here though, and who two of cups just flipped over? There's emotions here um, on your end. I'm not sure if you're just trying to avoid those emotions um, completely or if this decision that you're trying to make or that you're thinking about making, it's like it's coming from a place of fear or, you know, your thoughts are coming from a place of fear and this trying to maintain this peace, if your efforts are coming from a place of fear, I don't know how that's going to work in the long run, um, but again, this could be your person. Let's see the Six of Swords. <laughs> the hanged man, why am I not surprised? Um, and the three of swords, okay. See, I, I can't make this up. Um, I was hoping to get something different here, but it's pretty much confirming what I just said, that this, this six of swords, right, which is you trying to keep the peace, trying to move away from conflict, there's nothing wrong with that being your intention, but I feel like maybe there's something about this that is actually creating more pain for you like um, it's it, it just feels like it's keeping you stuck and I'm not saying that you should you know go towards this person I don't know I mean you you know you know best you know if this person is good for you or not or if this is what you really want or not um, but there's a message here from spirit that I'm getting that the way that you're moving away from this or the way that you are avoiding this and just trying to keep this balance within yourself, I feel like there's a truth maybe that you are ignoring within your own self and it's like it's really it might feel like it's moving you towards peace but then it's it's kinda not. Um, it's there's this underlying pain here. So I know this is like this is like one of those messages that like I, I don't like <laughs> saying, but th that's that's what's showing up here, so I do have to say it. And, and I know it can be hard, and this is something that we all do, you know, like who wants to, who wants to feel pain, right? Like we all want to avoid that. Who wants to be in a conflicted situation? You know, so of course it's only natural to want to avoid that and do whatever we can to avoid that. Um, but obviously if this message is showing up, it also means that you do have what it takes to deal with it in a way where it can actually be more effective for you, where, you know, it can actually bring about that peace that you're seeking. Otherwise there'd be no point in spirit showing this to us. Let's see the hanged man, the hermit, and the three of wands. Okay, so that's Virgo also showing up here. I feel like this is, you know, part of the guidance here is to, you know what, um, it's okay to take a step back. It's okay to take a step back and just think. I mean, as long as, you know, you are doing the soul searching. If you're just avoiding the soul searching to keep your balance, you know, that's, that, that's holding on to the underlying pain. It's not really releasing it. So I feel like this is, this is the guidance here, you know, to actually allow yourself to go within and explore that. Explore, explore what it is that you really are feeling. Rather than procrastinating that, which is being shown here by this Three of Wands and the Hanging Man. Ooh. 
Because, um, yeah, the other thing I'm, I'm getting now is that when, if you're, if you do the soul searching and that causes the conflict and that, that causes pain, then that's just an indication that there is something there for you to address. And that's why we're getting this message, right, to not ignore that, that just trying to bypass it, you're still holding on to that underlying pain. Okay, so this is definitely something that is workable. This is definitely something that you can do. It's just that what I'm getting here is that it's up to you when you want to do this. And if you want to, um, you know, delay it a little bit, you know, that that's fine too. Just be aware. Just be aware of it. All right, so let's see. Let's see for this person. We have the Knight of Cups, the Chariot, and the Ten of Swords. All right, so Cancer showing up here in your reading. This person really wants to come um, towards you quickly. Quickly. They're feeling um, this impatience. They're feeling this rush. Um, but they also feel like, you know, it's going to lead to pain. And I can see why, because I feel like, you know, you're, you're closed off. You're closed off here. Um, to this person. And so they're feeling that. They're feeling they're feeling your energy actually pretty in intensely let's see the fool I'm not sure if that's going to stop them though <laughs> the magician uh, and the seven of pentacles yeah it's not going to stop them they're feeling the pain they're feeling um, what the vibes that you're giving off um, but they're still wanting to manifest this they're still putting in effort they still want to do what they can, even if it's in an um, indirect way, that's how it's coming in, that it's not in a very direct way, um, but they're doing something here. They're doing something here to try to manifest you and to manifest this connection. And it does feel like a risk for them, a big one, um, because again, Ten of Swords. Let's see the Hierophant, all right, which is Taurus. A lot of signs showing up in, in this reading, Pisces. Okay, so for the Hierophant, we have the High Priestess and we have Death. Okay, Scorpio is also showing up. They want commitment, but their intuition is, um, or what they're feeling, what they think their intuition is, is telling them that this is done. They feel like you're, you're done. And I feel like they're they're still wanting this though, and they're still going to try to go about it in an indirect way. All right, let's see judgment for the potential outcome here, and we have. Ooh, the Four of Swords, the Emperor, and the Queen of Swords. Wow, okay, talk about a lot of clarity, a lot of healing, and, you know, just somebody really feeling empowered here. Um, I really feel like it's this person um, coming in strong, coming in strong at some point. I don't know what was going on with them or if there was something that they needed to heal. Whatever the case, though, I do see a lot of healing happening for the both of you. And it does feel like, you know, even though you're closed off now, I feel like there is this opening up eventually. A lot of clarity into something here. So I do feel like, number one, you're having this insight and this clarity about your own feelings and about what's going on with this person. And that gives this potential to have some kind of some kind of a, a resolution, but it also feels like possibly a second chance. Like the potential is there, that possibility is there, that window is open, and it's really up to you whether you want to take it or not. So yeah, Pisces, interesting. Interesting, I feel like there's this awakening to something understanding something a deeper a deeper understanding as well as healing clarity 
all of that. So, yeah, really positive. All right, so for your final message, we have awareness. Live in the moment, be conscious of your thoughts, look for signs and guidance. And I feel like this is exactly um, what I was saying before for you. Be aware of your emotions and your thoughts. All right, and look for signs and guidance because it's there. So Pisces, those are your messages. Um, I thank you so, so much for watching and much love.